Hi, Joe from McTillings Tech here, and today I'd like to go over how you can connect a Nintendo Switch Pro Controller to your Chromebook. For this, you'll need a Nintendo Switch Pro Controller as well as a Chromebook, and that's it. The Chromebook I'll be using in this video is the Lenovo Duet Chromebook, uh, basically the one that came out in 2020. All right, let's get started. Step one, put the controller into pairing mode. To do this on the Switch Pro Controller, you have to press this button that you can find on top of the controller. Hold this button down for three seconds before looking at the indicator lights at the bottom of the controller. If the green indicator lights are flashing side to side like this, the controller has entered pairing mode. Step two, open up the notification bar, click on the Bluetooth settings icon, and then click on this button that says plus pair new device. Doing so should open up this Bluetooth pairing settings. Depending on your Chromebook, it may take 30 seconds or so for the Chromebook to scan for available Bluetooth devices. Assuming you did step one correctly, a device labeled Pro Controller should come up on this list. Once it comes up on the list, click or tap on it, and the Chromebook will attempt to pair with the controller. If pairing is successful, you should get a small notification near the bottom of the screen that says Pro Controller Connected. And that's about it. Just to demonstrate that the controller is indeed being recognized as a game controller by the Chromebook, here's some footage of me playing the Android mobile port of GTA 3 on the Chromebook with the Switch Pro controller. Now here's something that you might notice as you watch this footage. Even though the controller is clearly paired or connected to the Chromebook, the green indicator lights at the bottom of the controller are still bouncing back and forth. If you're familiar with the Pro Controller, you might think that this is a bit strange, since the flashing of the green lights does stop when the controller is connected to the Nintendo Switch. When connected to a non-Switch device though, this behavior of non-stop flashing with the indicator lights can happen. The same sort of thing has been known to happen when this controller is connected to an Android device. Now, the overall experience of using the Switch Pro Controller with Chrome OS has, in my experience, been a bit of a hit and miss. As far as Android games go, some games like GTA 3 support the controller just fine with all the buttons and triggers just being recognized the way you would expect them to be. Other games in the meantime recognize the controller but fail to recognize certain buttons or triggers. It really does depend on the game. And it's a similar case with cloud gaming services. How well the Switch Pro controller is supported with a particular cloud gaming service really depends on the service in question. So if you're in a pinch and you really wanna use a game controller with your Chromebook, but all you have is the Switch Pro controller, it's probably worth trying it out at least. Um, it might not might work for use case, it might not. That said, if you are in the market specifically to get a game controller to use with your Chromebook, the Switch Pro controller probably isn't for you. I would actually suggest that you go with the Xbox controller. Whether it be with the Android apps or cloud gaming services, the Xbox controller is just supported a whole lot better than the Switch Pro controller is just in general. So if, if you're are specifically looking for a controller to use with your Chromebook, Xbox controllers are probably one of the best. Uh, if not, there are some others out there like 8-Bit Doe, and I'm, I think a PS4 controller can also work for a lot of cases as well, but the Switch Pro controller, probably not the one that I would go with. And that's all I have for you guys today. If you found this video useful or helpful in any way, shape, or form, please give this video a like. Thanks for watching.